It's about time, Brandon Therapeutic Fragrance. I've talked about this from the beginning. Layering. I don't know, did I show this? What is Russian Musk doing with this cast of characters? I don't think Nereez has ever been featured with the Hans, a matriarch, one seed, never with the one seed for sure, ever. Nobody's ever done that. Tellier, what is Russian Musk doing with the Tellier? Rising Mice or Bengal Rouge, Abel. There's never been no Russian Musk in Abel. January Scent Project, I don't think Ariz has ever been hooked up with that. Or Sylvain Delacorte, I don't even think they've been in the same room together. What is it doing there? That cast of characters, we'll get into that. I finally got the number one staunch guy against layering saying it's okay to layer and it's that's gonna start it off. Our powerhouse, Russian Musk, this is what it's doing up here. This is when he says the only time it's okay to layer with this Atar version of it. The Atar and the alcohol perfume spray, they're two different wearings. Wall them on the same thing. I have both of them there. Tar is just dense. You don't get the flow of aromatics. That's why you, spray is so important. You get so much more, but you get so much more denseness in the Atar when you mix them both. Oh, oh, oh. Magic assumes. I don't pull this out much. Those people that really know me know what I think about this. This, if I had a unicorn, it, there, there it is. That's my unicorn in my whole collection. I consider I have a couple unicorns, which you shouldn't should have one, but that, I mean, anything else would be tough to take that. Okay, now let's get into the layering you guys can all do very easily and what I think about it. I wake up in the morning and barely get, I'm a night person, I'm a night owl, that's where my creativity thrives, like a lot of people. And you know, the, you got staunch people written books, million dollar success books. I forget, I had a bunch of friends on that last year saying you had to wake up at five in the morning, be disciplined, this and that, and I'm like, I've seen it the opposite way too, so whatever. I'm, I'm a night guy, I, I flourish in the night. So my morning's barely getting out of bed. I still wanna smell good, but I don't wanna be putting on my Russian musk first thing in the morning going to coffee. In, in barely, in my shorts and t-shirt and just barely out of bed, get my kid to school, whatever, going to the gym, especially going to the gym and blowing up that. So this, this is what I've done for the past year. I have this cast of characters. Let's just name a few here. I'll go, let's go in order. This is no random order. This, this, I smelled her sample set, one of many. I smelled this on, I had to have this top. This top just reminds me of something from my childhood. I can't explain what, it just makes me happy. And then you have, um, it only lasts an hour, of course, like a top does. And then she spent so much time on this vanilla, documented it. She wouldn't just pick a synthetic. She went and hunt out, hunted down a specific vanilla, and it just dries down perfectly. So then all of a sudden, in three hours after my whatever gym, whatever come, come, I can put on other stuff that matches that beautiful vanilla. That's what I do. If I have a tobacco I want to put on it, I can have one heck of a tobacco vanilla of my own creation. Um, just tons, tons of fragrances lo go lovely with the vanilla dry down. And this is almost faded out, so it works perfectly. That's my thoughts on that one. And that's Valkyrie, Sylvain Delacorte. Her vanilla line, I could pick anything and do that with it. This one I've actually mentioned many times. Um, the, the oil version of this, um, I did, my review is the perfume version of January Scent Project Smolder Rose. The um, seashell note is beautiful, but it just lasts on my skin too long to become annoying. That's why I had to get this version of it. It's without the, the seashell note. So if you like the seashell, make sure you get the perfume. But this rose has been a magic maker for when I wear those oods later in the day. So put this on in the morning, just get a fresh rose going out, get that coffee, whatever, get back, put some oud on top of this. A couple hours later as it's faded, perfect layering. Or layer it fresh, get a fresh rose and compare what you think a, a rose would do with some, some different oods. Done that quite a bit with this baby. I've never met Nabel I haven't liked. This is green vetiver. I bought this because it was 30% off. 
flat out reason. I want gray labdanum. It wasn't 30% off. So that's why I own this one. Any able, spray it on like crazy. It works like crazy. I have a hidden surprise at the end of this video for you too, for layering. I've been waiting. That's why I'm doing the video. Hopefully you guys stay around. So white vetiver, any able will do. Gray labdanum is my favorite able. I bought that one's 30% off. I could own any of them. Put them any of them 30% off, I'll probably grab them. I just go through too much able. Once spring, I, I bought this at the um, middle of fall. That's when probably 30% off. Once spring hits, this is going to, I'll take pictures of this in the summer. Watch how far down the juice is going to be. I wear that like crazy. Bangle Rouge was my winter layering one. Just that incense, honey on top. And then it, it has that incense dry down. We'll take anything heavy in the evening. So wear this in the day. I still had that incense on for the evening. Play, apply a heavy oud perfume, heavy dark perfumes that I love. And um, I'm good to go with uh, this because this, this is long lasting. But that's how I use that one for layering. Oh, my source sandalwood layers with almost everything. This, this, the top of this is, if you own the soap, I should have, one day I'll pull out the soap. Oz pulled out the soap in his video. Um, I did mention this on the unboxing that smells just like the soap. He pulled out the soap on his video. It, it literally is like that soap. And then the beautiful, heavy Mysore profile, which is rare. That will layer with anything. Sandalwood goes with almost anything. Goes with roses, goes with vanillas, goes with labdanums, goes with ouds, goes with dark, goes with light, goes with gourmand, oriental. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to start rhyming. Oh, yeah, rising my sword. And the, 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 these are my two, I guess maybe that's why I put them in the middle. My king layering. Rising my sword was after I bought this. I called this my king layering last year. It is uh, tobacco nuit. I, I, tobacco was my favorite note before oud. This is just magic layering. I mean, it's light, easy wearing, just perfect for morning. Like, it, it reminds me of morning at the beach, just walking on that beach, being the first one up, just going, getting Brandon time on the beach, spraying this on. It's perfect for that. And then you can apply almost anything against the tobacco also to spice it up to my level that I like. One seed, I knew, this is why I bought the company and bought like five bottles and they were like 60% off sale, something like that. All natural, I knew they weren't going to last. Um, but yeah, I, I it's, that's a lot of juice for how much I, I, I have in, in four weeks. I spray this before the gym, put it on. Um, and any of the one seeds work like that. It's just all natural, soak into your skin, they help you. And then you can, after the gym, it's faint, wear almost anything you want, powerful. Matriarch is my layer. This, this is where it all started, because I went crazy on her stuff because of a Mr. Fragrance View. Um, I love those videos. I wish I wish she talked about these more. Um, this is Amber V. I chose this because I had others up here. Um, I have Orca easily be here, that Ambergris. Ambergris works with anything. Amber works with almost anything. And, you know, spray on the morning, come back. It goes with almost anything, that base. It doesn't last that long. And and works perfect when you're just barely out of bed. Or switch it up. Any of these work for nighttime fragrances, minus Bengal Rouge. Uh, some people have loved wearing it at night. It's just a a little too potent for me at night, but some people swear by it at night. I, I've seen comments on it, but at your own risk. Oh, this, we're down to the last one. Okay, here it is. W what's a popular drink at, at happy hour? A bourbon and Coke. This thing I could layer with any time. What about mixing fragrances? I didn't even talk about that one. You even talk about mixing them the same time you do them. So what would we mix bourbon with? Oh my gosh, look at that we're at seven weeks now. I haven't sprayed for like four weeks. I know he's make. I have the, the update on the more he's making, so I'm safe to spray more and run through it. I'll probably end up getting the x too though. 
Okay, what can we mix with bourbon? Oh, I got a fancy note. This is from Stop Talking About Fragrance. Um, on Instagram, he was featured in my Dendera video and did the, the motion graphic on there. If you haven't seen that motion graphic, it's awesome. I recognize this packaging. I have this packaging from Chris Rusick. That's his logos. So what goes good with bourbon? How about a little Hans Henley Cola? Bourbon and Cola. You guys are the first to see it. Here we go. Oh, these are the good sprayers. Wow, I need to spray cola by itself over here. Oh my goodness, it smells like bourbon and cola. It smells like the drink, 100%. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna get cola over here too. This is the first wearing of it. Oh, I don't wanna waste too much. This is from uh, Hans Henley's Laboratory Series. Interesting, it's soft, but um, there's, there's some booze in this, I think. And just a light air. <laughs> this is a bourbon cola, man. <laughs> who, who would have thought? Anyways, that's my layering video. I haven't talked about it. I, it's okay to layer. Us collectors, are you kidding me? That's the way you use your perfumes. I, I'm all about layering. You gotta pick them right. These are all picked very carefully right. There are some that like, there's nothing I can put on top of Russian musk. I wouldn't do that. So I do um, agree with Russian Adam there. Give him some agreements there. It's so complicated and whatnot that, that it's just not. But um, bourbon and cola is perfect. <laughs> That's, I wish I had a bottle of the cola. It's not made. Hopefully he does series of it you sign up yearly for his laboratory series and get secret stuff all year i love you guys you love the layering video love this concept love this idea i'm all about combos i'm out be blessed